Okay, so I had an idea. I was I was on forums today and I was looking at posts people were making about boards and they were getting all in the minutia of eight vol eight liters of volume making a big difference and don't go with that or it will be unrideable and so I just decided that I would make a video because this week I've ridden a bunch of boards like a different board every session uh, a different board every session and I, to kind of dispel the the common uh, misconception that um, width and volume and stuff limits the capabilities of a board so one thing I find out after um, all the boards that I ride and all the shapes and all the brands that definitive is something you can't do what it takes to back up what I want to say today I have to put it on video because me just talking isn't valuable I don't think so level enough <sighs> all right so today I was inspired by a post on one of the forums where people were talking about one guy said well I don't know that's about eight liters higher than I'm comfortable with don't want it to be too quirky yes you get more volume you get more quirky in some boards but I'm going to show you that you can have vast differences in boards and not get any quirkiness regardless of how stupid high the, the volume is or how wide the boards are or anything else okay so I've got I've, I brought the SP25 family because I've got three of them I've got the 88 which is 138 liters I've got the 811 which is 150 liters I have the 9.5 which is 177 liters and then because this board is what kind of spurred me on with it this is the 97 SP24 which is in the same family this is just the step up bigger wave board this is 173 liters it's narrower than the SP25 it's um, high performance shape for bigger waves I'm gonna get on the 8.8 first this is 138 liters. So the difference in all these boards is amazing. 138 to 177 liters. And none of them feel quirky to me. And they all surf amazingly well. This board has a lot of side to side tippy because it's got very thin wet rails and uh you know it wobbles around like this but it's fine i d i don't really have a problem with it in the surf at all This is the 811, 150 liters. A lot more volume, uh, 12 liters more than the 88. Um, I surfed this yesterday. While the waves are kind of small, it still worked very well and it was comfortable, real comfortable. This is way more stable 
than the 88. It has noticeably more width and volume in the rails. Um, when I push down like that, it doesn't want to go down too fast. Uh, these rails are still wet though, because these boards are well designed. Um, and when you see the video, you'll be kind of surprised at how similar they all surf, regardless of their size and width. Yes, each size gets a little snappier than the, than the next bigger one up. Each smaller size gets a little bit snappier, but essentially, uh, to the layman, they would have a hard time telling the difference um, when I surf them, because I surf, you know, I have a style and it's obvious and you see all the boards kind of reacting almost exactly the same with just varying degrees of speed of reaction time on a turn sometimes very hard for me to even tell when i do a side-by-side -side, uh, split screen video So now I'm going to get on the 9.5 by 34 inches wide. This board is massive according to the common, uh, the, uh, the accepted wisdom on forums. 34 inches is way too wide and stupid. Of course it wouldn't work. It's 177 liters. I mean, that's like uh full-on beginner board it won't turn it won't do anything it's just a big stupid board <laughs> okay well i'll tell you what the only thing stupid about this board is how stupid stable it is this is stupid stable this is <laughs> this is more stable than my 96 can get 33 and a half um even with the pointy nose 34 inches and the way it's distributed <laughs> And you notice on this board, the rails are wet, even though it's 177 liters, because they've designed these boards in such a manner that they, they're the exact same board. They change a little bit. The tails, uh, thicknesses change. Um, I've noticed that through the range. Um, they, they have done some work on the thicknesses in the tails. Uh, so that it didn't get overly thick as they got big and if you remember things I used to say back in my naive days when I looked at the tail of my 811 I went okay I'm not recommending anything over 811 because the numbers it will just get too big it will just be too big and it won't work boy I couldn't have been more wrong check this out roll video boom